bonkers. I have no idea what's going to happen, but trust me, it's going to be deadly. Yeah. That's about that. Yeah. I always wanted to come abseiling into a castle. Makes me feel like a total ninja. Yes, this is the start of a truly epic journey for me. I've spent most of my life traveling the world. I've been to a hundred countries looking for exotic creatures, but as of today, Deadly is coming home. As Steve said, we are traveling around the country and this week the Live and Deadly convoy has rocked up in Birmingham, specifically right there. Dudley Zoo. Yes, that's right. We're in the marvellous Midlands in Deadly Dudley. We've got our very <laughs> own castle. How about that? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? So we've got amazing animals here, lions, lemurs and penguins, and also the castle set right in the middle of the zoo. Can you believe they built us our own castle? I feel very, very special. very nice of them, wasn't it? Look yeah. at this. Well, this wouldn't be deadly unless we were dealing <gasps> with a truly enormous snake. And this is... A truly enormous, enormous snake. Thanks, guys. She's as big as one of our vans. Well, easily. she's certainly as long as one of our vans. Well, yes. Oh, sorry, is that Pat. Normal for a snake. Um, Can I feel her? It's ooh, 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 increasingly um, unusual in the wild, as to be said. Snakes like these um, to find one this big. This is a Burmese python. She's um, massive. She is absolutely gigantic, and the weight of her is incredible. She I mean, feels actually, feels great. She's so smooth to touch. Yes, yeah, she is. Will she bite me? No, she won't. I promise okay. she won't bite. This one's been brought up in captivity, so it's really quite docile. Um, I I hope <laughs> he said it would be it would be pretty awful if our first animal on live and deadly was to bite you and i think this one is called samantha yes which samantha. makes her seem a little bit less uh, scary it does hello samantha no, now nice she to meet is you. look at that I yeah, think she, she likes she you. Likes me. How about she's that? She's with her tongue. Right, well, what What's she's doing there happen? is actually um, sensing you. Are you wearing any perfume this morning? Yeah, I did put some on, actually. Yes, there you go. Well, she's probably just tasting you, finding out if like she that. reckons you'd be good to eat. Like my perfume? <laughs> she's cool. So she weighs a lot, I'm imagining. Well, she, like she is incredibly heavy. And I'd actually really like to find out quite how heavy she is. So Shall we weigh her? Yeah, we've got a scale over here. <laughs> oh, she's so just, if she's I can walk that far, she's quite a struggle. Right. Okay, I weigh about 90 kilos. Okay, Ooh. so what's it saying? I can't see down there now. That has gone a bit off the Richter scale, that has. That's saying 299 kilograms. No. Okay? That's really? not right. No, that can't be right. Surely. Oh, that's, that's in pounds. Oh, I that's, think. In pounds. that's in pounds. Okay, okay so let me do a little calculation in my head because I am a bit of a, a maths whiz. Oh, really? That is Handy. about 45 kilos. What, well, she weighs 45 kilos, yeah, not me. Okay, can we compare that to something? What's yeah, well, kilos? let's try one of the, uh, one of the audience. Uh, Jude? Is it Jude? Yeah. Come on in then. Are you willing to stand on our scales? On you get. Right, let's have a look, see what you weigh. 56 okay, pounds. Okay, now again, so that's that? in pounds. So what do okay, we um, so... It's about the same, are we think? No, 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 that's going to be quite a lot less, actually. Oh, really? If you convert that... <gasps> you weigh yeah, less than the snake, I think that's dude. more like 30. Really? So actually, you're quite a lot less than the snake. And the most incredible thing about that is actually that the dude has quite a heavy skeleton and a heavy skull, whereas the snake, those structures are really very, very light. I mean, all of the bulk, all of the weight from the snake is coming from muscle. Wow, you're amazing. Are you still talking to me or the snake? The snake. Right, OK. You're not amazing. Uh, it's time to meet another of Dudley's residents. This time it's the turn of the birds of prey. And yes, here we've got Kaiser, who is an absolutely magnificent African spotted eagle owl. Isn't he absolutely beautiful? I'm so tempted to give him a stroke, but I've been advised against it because he might give me a peck. But um, if you see, oh look, you see he's playing the game. You can see he's got absolutely mesmerizing, huge orangey yellow eyes, perfect for hunting at night time. Look, isn't that the most adorable little fur ball you've ever set your eyes upon? Oh, it's a little baby meerkat. Hi, Rich. Hiya. Now, obviously meerkats are wide animals. We don't normally hold them, so, um, are you hand rearing him? He is, yeah. He's been hand reared. He's uh, he's about twenty weeks old now. Why he's... why are you hand rearing him? Um, basically, the story is little lucky. Is, um, believe lucky? it or not, yeah, lucky. A crow actually picked him up out of his enclosure uh, and flew off with him. Thought he was going to have him for his dinner, but luckily, luckily got away. So a crow actually took him away. Yeah, basically, lucky was being a bit cocky and went. Oh, was he being a went, bit cocky went, for yes, own good? Went to attack the crow, but come out. Uh, he likes your microphone. The that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so how did he get away from the crow? Then? Um, he must have been wriggling and the crab actually dropped him. Well, wriggling's yeah, right, because he, he's he doing that. He dropped him about 30 yards in the adjacent enclosure, in with the wallabies. Just 
dropped them over there, over there yeah. with the wallabies. With the wallabies, yeah. And who phoned them there? It was by luck uh, a member of public actually seen the whole event take place. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he's really, really lucky to yeah. go over there. And, uh, you are lucky. I got a phone call saying what had gone on, and uh, he came home with me that night. And he was all right. He, he was didn't have any fine. injuries. He or got anything. a few little nicks and nibbles, but nothing oh, to worry fun. about.